all hope abandon ye who enter here. This is the entrance to my living room, which contains all sorts of uh, weird and wonderful things. things, books, more weird and wonderful clocks, some very interesting. Pictures. Some lots and ends there. More books. Globe. Here's my computer. And of course, steam engines. which is why I'm here at the moment. Because becoming, just coming up, is the STWWW for 2018. And as usual, I'm going to give you a tour of uh, my complete collection. And we'll start at the uh, stationaries this year. On the top shelf here we have a Bowman lookalike made by Bing. And then a Merca. And another Bing. A big bing. Next shelf down we have Steam Co. And well, let's go D3. Some CKs, there's a CK vertical there. A couple of CK V twins, one vertical, one horizontal boiler. At the end there, there's a Weeden, another Stinko, Mersey, Corette, and a couple of Marv Industries horizontal engines, one Sterno fired and one electric. And here we have a couple of generations of Weller machines. It's a core lodge. Mark 1, the old man, Aubrey Manor, Mark 4, and there we have the Saxon Meister. Here we have a Bing, and a Mr. Power. Well, let's go look alike. And there's a genuine Willesco D4. That's a modern Willesco D4. Looks nothing like it the same. And there's a D5. And the next shelf down. So well, let's go D10, 100th anniversary edition. The D10 standard electric. And the D16 electric. Then down here on the floor, down in the shadows, 
we have Stephen's model duckyard. There's a Gasilan there and a GPM. Up on the top shelf there we have some Kleinemeyer engines and Willesco D14 and a little Fleischmann at the end there. Here we have a couple of Josef Falk engines. T. Haynes. It's an Owen. A doll. Willesco. And there's the Suffolk. New common engine which I've never actually got working properly. Uh, getting back down to my level so I don't have to stretch. There's an index there. It's a nice uh, engine. I suspect he's probably scratch built on it. It's certainly an unknown manufacturer. There's a Marklin Duncan engine. It's a Trev's toy box. And a Plank Hercules. Next up we have another Marvin Industries. That's the well known Robert Fulton line. And there's the uh, the engine that's well known for being unknown, <laughs> the Basil Harley unknown. There's a couple of Wilson engines, small and large. There's another Owen. There's a Polly made by Tony Wright. Bernard Vulcan, a couple of little red engines, made by Major Toys, it's a Bing and Marv Marklin Verticals. And there we have a steam walking stick. And a nice recent acquisition there, Crowsmoor. Behind that is a Whedon 400. It's a Jensen 70. It's an Empire B31. And a Power Toy, Canadian engine. And uh, back in the shadows, I'm afraid. There's a Whedon 14 there. A couple of Kenneth Wells stationaries. There's the uh, press frame and the cast frame. It's an Opitech. Bowman M175. And a Luton Bowman. Next down. There's a couple of Bowman 101s. There's an E101 with the wood base and an M101. And a twin cylinder M122. On the top shelf of the next rack, start off with an MF twin there. 
clone of the Mamon, the original Mamon Minor 2. We have a steam crane made by I don't know who but it's to an LBSC design. There's Atoma Plane L5. And that's a cloak. Now we come to the bulk of my Mammoth stationaries. There's the Forum Edition Minor SP. Two. Standard SP2 SP1 Memo Minor 2 Minor 1 The early flat base Minor 2 Minor 1 And here we have the Pre-war SE range, SE1, SE2, SE3, and SE4. And below that we have various SE2s, different ages. Working up to the SE2A at the end there. Here we have some twin cylinders. There's the SE3, SP5, and SP5D with a dynamo and some uh, single cylinders. It's a rather unusual SP4, S yeah, SP4 there with a white base. There's an SP1. An earlier SP1 and SP6 and down here on the floor we have the complete sealed on range. So two versions of the 13 slash one. 13 slash 2 slash 3 slash 4 and slash 5 and I almost forgot also down on the floor here is a Willisco workshop D141 and moving over to the uh, the mobiles and marines start off with the, uh, with the red devil there uh, here we have some pop-up boats it's right and deep, right and deep titanic and Bertha. CK pop up boat, another Rat and Deep, Thunder Cruise, it's a pop up raft.
couple of Weller pop-ups. There's a Up there, I don't know who made that. There's a speed out there, I don't know who made that. And that one is another rat and deep speed boat and tug. Uh, there's a couple of uh, Slightly bigger steamboats. It's a Theron's Firefly there. And the Midwest Fantail. Now we have a collection of uh, marine engines. There's three mammoths there. ME1, ME2 and ME3. A couple of Velasco marine engines. D48 and a D52. And I don't know if you can see that clearly. In the shadows there. A four cylinder USE engine. There's Tony Green Green engine. Midland Models Trojan. Here we have a Steamco and tucked in behind that is a Bing marine engine. Don't see many of those. Back on the top shelf here, where I, uh, I have to stretch again, there's the Willesco portable. There's a Tony Wright dairy engine there. Mamad SW1. And Steam Dray. Next shelf down we have Mamard Showman's engine. And let's go to traction engine. Mamard T1 traction engine. Kenneth Wells traction engine. and a little Bing traction engine. And here we have some roll steam rollers. There's Velasco Old Smoky. There's a man style steam roller with the main roll at the back. There's a Mamard SR1. David Old steamroller and a Mastran steamroller. On to the railway engines. It's a Hornby rocket there. And an Aveling and Porter look alike there. Shelf down, tucked in the back there is a Maxwell Hemmons tripler, a 
and there's a Bowman 234. There's a Mamod SL6. And there we have a microcosm walking steam engine. A couple of tricycles, a Hilsha Air. Uh, a Garkin there. And there we have Mamod SA1. A couple more of my creations. There's a Stanley Sharaban there. And the early style. Commonly known as a dog cart car, steam car. And down there is a couple of fire engines. Mamod Willesco. Uh, here we have some Meccano type engines. It's a marking convertible at the end. Next to that is a 1929 Meccano engine. There's the Meccano engine made by Mamad, commonly known as the Meg One. Here we have the more up to date. C3, SP3 There we have what the SP3 should have been I call it the SP3A And there's the Kleinemeyer version Here we have a Willesco D11 comes with a kit of Tronico parts which are sort of like a metric version of Meccano and there we have an Alga John Erickson Is in this section because it's got loads and loads and loads of Meccano standard holes on the base. There's some more of my creations. Or well, not so much a creations in this case as a modification. That's a sectioned Mamad SE3. That's a three cylinder SE3. And there's another sectioned engine. Can't see very clear. It's a engine sectioned engine from Willesco D16. Now this section is for the smaller engines. Starting off with some small to mid, more size engines. There's a quality number one there, and then. Nellist, the Castle Model B, and then some SELs, Minor, Junior, Standard, and a twin cylinder major. Here we have some CK engines, CK number one and number two. That's actually a Crescent number three, but it's made by CK. We have a Peak number two, an ADE engine, D 
David Ald. It's a microcosm. And a Latimer plane L4. And Willie Harris. And now we come to the shelf of the miniature engines. In the back row there, there's a single cylinder USE. It's a Bittleston engine. It's a Stuart Turner ST. The Cell Marine engine. There's a new Watt rocking cylinder engine, rocking piston engine. It's a microcosm. There's another microcosm with the prototype of their. Boiler. It's another microcosm. Now here we get to the really tiny. That's the nano, micro, minor. V2 Those are all big engines Then we have some Philcraft engines It's a penny engine there It's Jenny Wren Lilliput And the marine engine and then in the front row we have Tony Wright Tiny, Paul Cooper even tinier, it's a Hilsha steam-powered windmill There's a mini steam. Let's go D2. Microcosm and a microcosm turbine there. Another microcosm. And back to the peak engines, it's a major, number one, number three, number four, and the number six. Don't have a number five, unfortunately. And of Philcraft beam engines, one without a boiler and one with a boiler. And on the coffee table here we have some non-steam engines. There's Dr. Johnson's heat engine which works on knitting our wire. There's another Nitinol wire engine. Here we have a Bohm, U Gears pneumatic engine, which is all totally made of wood. There's a Star Power flame licker. 
an acoustic engine there. It's a Fusu low temperature engine, Sterling engine. Drinking bird. There's a Contax low temperature engine under the dome there which I have eventually managed to get working on the heat from my own hand. It's a Ross Roke Ross Yoke engine. Another star power low temperature engine, which is unusual in that it only has one crank. And there we have a Bing twin cylinder engine. And last but definitely not least is this Crooks radiometer. which uh, is barely turning in this uh, autumnal light. It does go a lot faster on, in uh, good lighting conditions. In fact, it, with uh, direct sunlight, it goes like the clappers. <laughs>